And that breaking news in South Fulton tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Joe Ripley. Right now, police are working to find the person who shot and killed a man at a popular park. 11 Alive's Dawn White joins us live now from the scene. Dawn, do police know what led up to the shooting? Well, I spoke to South Fulton Police Chief Keith Meadows just minutes ago. He said he believes it was a verbal alter altercation between two men who were fighting over a woman. He tells me the victim is just 20 years old and they do have a person of interest in custody. You can see here it's a very active scene with police vehicles down there. Police tape is blocking off the area here. And I am joined now by South Fulton Councilwoman Helen Z. Willis. This is her district. And you were here when the shooting happened. What did you see and hear? Well, I was here at a Stop the Violence rally. And uh, at the end of my speech, I heard gunshots. I ran over to the police, with the police, and there was a young man um, laying on the ground, face down. Um, they tried to revive him, and of course, he didn't make it. This is a, this is unacceptable. Um, this is not who we are as a community. We are a community full of legacy re residents. Uh, we love this park. And for someone to do this to the victim in the middle of a park while there's a Stop the Violence rally going on, and it's still going on, it's unacceptable. My condolences to the family. Um, a 20 year old is no longer with us due to senseless violence um, and it's unacceptable and we have to find ways to n deal with our anger. Violence is not the answer. This was someone's son, this was someone's uh, father, and this was someone's friend and our community didn't deserve this. His family, his, his family didn't, didn't deserve this. 